on this 50 point inspection, I have Riot Down Under, which is a hazy IPA at 8% ABV. This is from Prison City Brewing. They're out of Auburn, New York. And uh, yeah, it is a hazy IPA hopped exclusively, exclusively with the Southern Hemisphere hops from Australia and New Zealand. They're using Nelson, Galaxy, and Motueka hops. Uh, this can comes courtesy of FLX Beer Reviews. That is Dan and Mike. Uh, they reside in New York as well. Now, why they call it Prison City, I'm not sure if that's because of that movie, uh, you know, Escape from New York, or uh, if there's just a lot of prisons in Auburn, New York, or if they just wanted to call their brewery that, I don't know. But anyways, this beer is a little over three weeks old um, at the time of this inspection, but I do thank uh, Dan and Mike for getting this one sent over to me, my first uh, experience with Prison City Brewing, so let's start this inspection. Right, so nice frothy white head on this one. The color of the beer itself is a nice vibrant orange. Uh, it's hazy. All right, some aromas. Oh, uh, big orange juice, lots of orange juice in this. It's a uh, pineapple passion fruit. All right, I either got a hint of um, of a melon or possibly grape. With the Nelson, it's probably a grape note, like a white grape. There's a bit of the, the malt comes through, a nice sweet maltiness. Yeah, uh, there's plenty going on in this. It does smell sweet and candied. I'll be right back. i got to let Telly inside. Normally, they want to just come outside. Yeah, so candied um, type things, uh, may, maybe a touch of, touch of like a caramel, but definitely orange juice was the first thing that I noticed. It's gotten sweeter, like each time I smell on it now, now it's just getting sweeter and sweeter. But yeah, pineapple, um, like dull pineapple and like passion fruit. A little bit like, like I said, like a white grape. Maybe some berries in there as well. Yeah, the nose on this smells great. I, I do uh, like the sweetness that's coming off of this. Um, it smells sweet anyways. All right, uh, let's dive on in for the first week, so cheers. All right, so the, the malt's a little bit dialed back on the palate from what it was coming through on the, on the nose. Unless more of that sweetness was coming from uh, one of the hops, but... Uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit kind of crackery, uh, wheat-like and grainy. Uh, as far as the hop bill, just a touch of of uh, like a actual sweetness coming from the malt, which I think it usually starts leaning towards like a breadiness, a white bread um, type note. So just a touch of that. Uh, gonna have to go back in for more of the more of the hops. There's definitely some some uh, fruit-forward hops in this. Uh, does have a kind of moderate, I'd say, bitterness. Uh, fairly, fairly balanced out though so far. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go back in for some more. Uh, the body on this one does seem medium, uh, with a medium carbonation. Maybe I see what I can find as far as a mouth feel as well. Lots of things to go on here still. <laughs> Semi-soft. Kind of a uh, mouthfeel to it. Uh, there is a white grape note in there. Do notice that. It's not so much orange juicy. It's more like a like a pith, like an orange pithiness. Maybe a touch of grapefruit, like. Passion fruit more in the aromas on this one, but it is. It is showing up a bit on the palate. It's kind of like a f 
floral like in, in, in like a zestiness on the finish that's where it's getting into the bitter um, a little bit of a pine a little bit of a a little creaminess as well to this um, almost like there's lactose in here I don't think that they put lactose in it I didn't see that um, yeah there's a almost like a, a, a vanilla just a touch some cream vanilla cream um, starting to get that's kind of that sweetness it's more like that sweetness I was getting out of the aromatic I say nothing about lactose so um, all right well it's my first experience and sorry about the lighting that this is going through right now but uh, bright cans maybe that will darken it up a bit uh, focus on the can camera uh, yeah let's give this a score all right I'm back that was a long one um, let me uh, just go through what I think of this beer anyways now if you notice on the can art there is a kiwi there I think that would probably lead some people to say kiwi was in the flavors and stuff I wasn't picking out kiwi but I don't need a lot of kiwi I do know that it can be kind of sweet so maybe maybe that was some of that sweetness I was picking up and I just didn't know uh, if, it, if it is kiwi who knows but I didn't straight out say kiwi so somebody could get kiwi out of this beer but I'm just gonna give you my score now and then I'm gonna talk about something else that's kind of weird on this six out of six for the appearance on the aromas I thought it was fantastic um, I like the way that the malt um, there's a malt sweetness uh, at least I believe it was coming from the malt. It could be coming from some of the hops. Sometimes they give off a candy note as well. Uh, decent aromas coming through from the hops. And, uh, yeah, it's just a pleasant smelling beer. Um, very nice. So 10 out of 10 for the aromatics on the flavor. Uh, a little downplayed on the malt presence. Um, like what I was kind of perceiving in the aromas from it. I was just hoping for more of a sweeter, like, breadier base. Um... But malt was still still present. There's still some factors of malt there. Um, hops, same thing. Just kind of yeah, down, down just a bit from what the aromatics were kind of giving off. Uh, balance. This one does end up getting just a little bit more on the bitter side. That bitterness does build, so moderate moderate bitterness to it. It is an IPA, um, so I mean, you do expect a, a bitterness. Uh, and. Yeah, the aftertaste on it, it's mostly kind of leaves you with this kind of going floral-esque uh, bitterness, maybe a bit zesty, and then piney. Um, so, I'm going to give it a 15.5 out of 19 for the flavor. On the body on this one, perfectly fine. It's that medium body. I always attribute the mouthfeel and stuff to the body as well. So it's got a fairly decently um, kind of soft mouthfeel to it. It's nice. Definitely tropical flavors um, throughout this beer. And the tail end, like I said, you do get that kind of floral and pininess. But very nice. Five out of five for the body, if I didn't say that. And then my overall on this one, Matt, a nine out of ten. I'm really enjoying this one. Uh, so for the the bumpy score, it's going to get a 45.5 out of 50, which would land it right between very good and excellent. I'll just do that round up, and I'll call this one an excellent beer. Um, now, this is where I ran into an issue on an untapped. They seem to have a different riot down under um, from Prison City. So, I don't know exactly what the score would be on this particular one. Because uh, they seem to use a, a few different hops. 
the other the other one that's showing here on on untapped and there's two different untaps that I clicked on and they both lead to the same exact reviews uh, that one was a uh, an eight percent still double New England IPA uh, and that was hopped with uh, Galaxy Nelson Wakatu and Waidi um, hops and they say you know big pineapple and mango type notes in that one uh, this one it has the Nelson Galaxy and the Matuka, um, so or Motueka. Um, I don't even know what what notes those give off. Anyways, I don't have my cheater hop chart thing to look at to to get a clue if if it's even on the chart. Uh, but for the old beer, anyways, out of one thousand three hundred four ratings, it scored a four point two three out of five when untapped. Uh, which is a pretty good score that would land that in kind of a very good category in my chart but uh, not sure not sure exactly with this one with a changed hop anyways uh, so I do want to appreciate um, FLX beer reviews once again uh, for gifting me this beer and the nice beer mail that they sent and uh, so yeah Mike Dan Dan Mike thank you guys so much and appreciate you all for sticking through this and watching. Cheers. <laughs>